Hey guys, so this is going to be part three of my Q&A videos. <laughs> Sorry if this is getting repetitive. All right. How many calories do you recommend daily as a minimum? All right, this question is kind of tricky because it's different for um, different people. Um, sorry, it was I was hot before, so I put my hair up. Now it's cold. <laughs> as a minimum, for me, I really just say eat when you're hungry until you're full. <laughs> I can understand why people would recommend a minimum of calories, especially when they're coming to the when they're new to the lifestyle. You want to make sure that you're eating enough. But for me, I just eat. I eat when I'm hungry till I'm full, like I said, and for me that's been about 2,500 calories a day, sometimes it's a little bit less, sometimes it's more. Recently I've been cycling a lot, I've been closer to 3,500 calories a day. Again, I'm just eating when I'm hungry till I'm full. That's what works for me. So are you worried about not getting enough fat, as in healthy fats that our bodies need? Um, no, I don't worry about this. I eat avocado probably a couple times a week and I eat oats a lot, they're actually quite high in fat. But really, my thoughts on this are sort of that I'm eating whole foods, and I'm eating them the way that they grow in nature, which is in their whole perfect form. Like, if you're gonna be a high-carb vegan, I think you need to basically have the understanding or the belief that foods grow in nature the way that we were meant to eat them. None of this, like, you know, perfect food combining from each food group, that's out the window <laughs> for my for me anyways. So my belief is that the foods that I'm eating, they're sufficient in amounts of fat and protein that I need, so yeah, I don't worry too much about that. But if you are interested in um, reading a bit more about how much fat the body needs, uh, there's a whole chapter on fat in Dr. Graham's book 801010, so yeah, check that out. <laughs> Do you feel you've reached your natural weight yet and how consistent overall do you feel you've been with all aspects of this lifestyle? Sleep, diet, water, and exercise. Um, that's a good question. I don't think I've been doing it long enough to really say I've been really consistent with one aspect or the other aspect because I've been experimenting this whole time trying to figure out what works best for me. So I have maintained a high carb, low fat, vegan diet for the, well, the whole time I've been a vegan, which has been 10 or 11 months. But I've been playing around with how much sleep I need. I now go to bed earlier than I probably ever have before. Diet, like I said, I've maintained a high carb, low fat vegan diet, but I have played around with ratios of fruit and starch, just what works for my routine, my tastes. Water, I've increased the amount of water that I eat over the time that I've been eating this way. I, eat, I drink probably four liters of water a day now, three or four easily, um, but I really had to learn how to do that. I was always terrible at drinking water in the past. And exercise, I have increased my exercise just because I bought the bike and I love I love going for rides. I never had motivation to exercise on a regular basis before. I still have a quite expensive gym membership that I don't use. <laughs> Such a waste, but anyways. So yeah, I haven't been doing this long enough to say what I have and haven't been consistent with, but maybe in a year from now I'll be able to tell you. <laughs> anyways, I hope I answered that question. All right, what would you say was your best benefit of going vegan? Um, I had tons of benefits. My biggest one though is that I was really struggling with joint pain, um, arthritis when I came to the lifestyle. That's why I came to the lifestyle. Um, and that is just completely gone now. I was struggling to walk some days, it was so bad, and I don't have any problems with that anymore. So that's probably my best benefit. But I've had so many other things like my relationship with food has completely changed. It's just so much healthier now. I was always either starving myself or binging. Food just didn't make sense to me. I just, I wasn't eating in a way that was satisfying me. So I was always wanting to eat more than I thought I should. I just had so much guilt around food. I don't have any of that anymore. And this is the most I've ever eaten before and probably the least I've weighed in like three years. So that's definitely saying something. And I think I was always just looking for a lifestyle that I could be passionate about and I have certainly found that now. I was always interested in nutrition. I just couldn't find something that worked for me and I certainly have now. So also when you go vegan, if you really branch out a little bit, you can meet amazing people. Um, and yeah, I've met really awesome people in the high carb low fat vegan movement. A lot of them from the Thai Fruit Fest. Yeah, so that's been awesome as well. And I don't know, I'm just I'm just more content now. I just, everything sort of fell into place, I think, when I 
decided to make the change. But it did take me about six, seven months to get to the mental space that I am in now. So anyways, that's all of my questions, guys. So if you have anything else for me, please post it down in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them. But yeah, <laughs> thanks to everyone who asked questions and thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time.